Hi everybody, welcome to Daddy's Toy Kingdom. It's time for another Battle Royale in Fortnite. We have a ton of brand new figures straight from Moose. Thank you very much, Moose. I can't wait to see all the crazy ones, the cool ones, the spooky ones, and the very amusing ones. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another awesome Fortnite video. I can't wait to unbox all these awesome Fortnite characters and take a look at everything they come with. Sometimes the accessories are the best parts of the toy. Just take a look at this guy right here. We're gonna start with the two packs and this one that I'm holding in my hands. First up, we've got Heyman and Hollowhead. Heyman is a scarecrow and Hollowhead, well, he has a hollow pumpkin jack-o'-lantern for a head. Let's pop him out of the package. All these figures do come with bases. They're kind of a translucent blue plastic. And they do have a logo on it. Super cool. So here's Hey Man and Hollowhead out of the packages. They both have sides, so they can kind of high five with them. Dink. Or high side with them. Dink, dink, dink. They do come with a double barrel shotgun, which looks pretty cool. It's sawed off. The backpack that we have for Heyman is sort of a sunflower puppet. Looks pretty cool. And Hollowhead here has an awesome cape and another side. They're perfect for Halloween. Fortnite Halloween sounds awesome. Next up, we've got the Star Spangled Trooper and Fireworks Team Leader. Well, she kind of looks like Cuddle Team Leader, but more like Captain America. Am I right? Am I right? Eh, anyway, let's just get him out of the package. And here we have the Star Spangled Trooper, making me feel more patriotic the more I look at him. Just take a look at the paint detail. He has stars on the handkerchief around his neck. He has an awesome shotgun and a pickaxe. And great paint detail all the way around the torso. And here is Fireworks Team Leader, who has striped pants, a really cool bear mask, and since she is Fireworks Team Leader, a hat full of fireworks you can attach to her back. And this cool little med kit. So there's tons of accessories in this two-pack. This is pretty awesome. Next up, we have the Beef Boss and the Grill Sergeant. They're making me hungry just looking at them, so let's take a look at these toys. So here's our Beef Boss and Grill Sergeant. Beef Boss here is looking tasty with a burger for a head, a giant tongue hanging out, and a french fry backpack. Gotta love that. He has a machine gun, and just take a look at the feet. <laughs> I love those big boxy feet. He looks like a fast food mascot, that's for sure. That's our beef boss. I'm the boss, the beef boss. <laughs> Next up is the grill sergeant who has an awesome tomato hand grenade and a giant spatula pick. Take a look at this. SpongeBob's got nothing on me. I'm the master fry cook. Yes, you are, yes, you are. He's got purple and orange stripes all the way across the body here. Maybe a bluish purple. Pretty cool. I like this figure a lot. But I think I'm going to have to listen to the boss. Oh, I'm a burger! I know. I'm going to have to open these guys up together. We have the wild cards. Wild card hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. The four suits in a deck of cards. And actually, to me, they kind of look like a boy band. <laughs> hey, we're cool. I know, I know, I know. Let's get the wild cards out of the package. And here are the wild cards. We've got Hart here holding a bazooka. Looks pretty cool. I like the hockey mask kind of detail that he has around the head. And of course, the matching suits are really sharp. Club here has a silenced pistol and what looks like a Halliburton briefcase with a pair of handcuffs on it. Very interesting. And I love this little llama. Oh, look at that little translucent llama. It's so cute. Oh, that's awesome, I like that. Diamond, 
It's twin pistols. You can never go wrong with those. A couple of 45s. Looking really snazzy. And here we've got Spade, armed to the teeth with a plunger, machine gun, and a crowbar. He said we looked like a boy band. Well, I guess we better sing a song. Girl, your love helps me see the light. Oh, yeah. Baby, every time that we play Fortnite, ooh. Okay, there's my boy band song. Number one single, I'm telling you. The individual packs. Here we've got the Scoundrel. I like the crowbar and the safe. Does he look like he's up to no good? Let's find out. Scoundrel. Mr. Scoundrel. Here is the Scoundrel in a black and white striped shirt with a ski cap. A safe strapped to his back and a crowbar looking very inconspicuous. If you saw him in your neighborhood, you'd probably just wave and say hi. Scoundrel. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you just go have some fun. Next up we have the bandolier. Here's our bandolier out of the package with a huge gun. Look at that thing. It's so cool. Look, it's even got some shells strapped to the side there. The bandolier really stands out on the bandolier here. I like his sunglasses, his bandana, and most of all, that friggin' jetpack. Look at that thing. We can fly everywhere. Nobody can stop the bandolier. One thing I wanted to show you is the detail on the tattoos. That looks really cool. Goes all the way from the chest up to the top of the shoulders. Bandolier, bandolier, he's going to stand right over here. The next figure is Wukong, who is based on the Chinese book, Journey to the West. He is the Monkey King. And here is Wukong out of the package. So far, this is probably my favorite figure in the collection. I just love all the detail. The gold is extra shiny. That hammer looks really ornate. He's got this orb grenade here. The pink detail. Oop, there he goes. He threw that grenade. It's spot on. He even has a bead necklace. Check that out. The shoes are pointy. That's so cool. Everything about this figure is incredible. I just love Wukong. Next up is the Ace. And this character would fit right in with the wild cards. She has a clear base where the other characters had blue bases. So that's interesting. So here's the ace in a very dynamic action pose. And her base actually has this rounded section that can connect her to make her look like she's jumping. That actually looks super awesome. I like that a lot. She comes with a couple accessories that can't really be used while she's connected to her base. Here's a backpack and a little llama. Oh. Anyway, the ace aces this test simply from this awesome base. Ace of base! Oh, I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. Okay, I won't sing anymore. I promise. The next figure is Valor. And she looks like a superhero. Looking pretty cool. Valor here has one of our jumping bases. So let's get her out of the package and see what she looks like. So here's Valor out of the package. And unlike all the other figures, her legs are actually molded together. So she can't actually stand with her legs separated. So I think she's actually levitating. She comes with this cool little staff. You can see right through it. Can you see that? You can actually see through that little hole. That's neat. She comes with two guns which she can't actually use while she's levitating. I like her costume and her hairstyle. So Valor looks pretty cool. Levitate away. The next figure is the most interesting one, I think. This is Leviathan. And he has a fishbowl head. Literally, he's got a fish in a bowl for a head. Kind of like Minion from Megamind. Let's get him out of the pack. And here is Leviathan out of the package holding a bazooka. That looks pretty cool. 
the star of the show is clearly that fish in the bowl on the head. So they actually do have a fish inside a transparent bowl. You can see that it's shining in the light. They molded it very well. It looks super awesome. It does look like a fish in a bowl. How did they do that? It looks great. He does have a jetpack. And this one, I think, will be my son Jacob's favorite Fortnite Battle Royale toy. For sure. Jeremy, I think you're going to like this guy. Honestly, you always wanted a bad guy toy. This guy's going to be my favorite. Just telling you. What kind of master do we have next? The Sushi Master. Yeah, he's got some cool accessories. Let's get this guy out. Here's our Sushi Master out of the package. And that pickaxe is looking really cool with a katana type sword attached to this gold post. His right arm cannot actually hold anything because he's kind of doing a little pose, a gesture with his fingers. He's wearing slippers, which look neat, wooden slippers actually. And my favorite part of this toy is this backpack, which has what appears to be sushi rolls on a little sushi boat. Pretty cool, I like that. So the Sushi Master. Next up is the Cloaked Star. What a mysterious looking character. He's got a katana and a silenced pistol. Cloaked Star here has glowing yellow eyes. A black suit with a hood, some gold spikes coming out of one of the shoulder. And he kind of looks like a cross between a foot soldier and the Shredder. Both from Ninja Turtles. Let's take a look at him. He is neat. He has sort of a ninja vibe. Kind of an Assassin's Creed vibe. I like it. Oak Star. And that brings us to our last figure of the evening. This is Omen. Looking ominous. And here is Omen out of the package. And this character looks like a He-Man villain. It looks like he could be a magician or some kind of evil wizard. Take a look at that pickaxe. It actually looks like a magic wand with a purple pearl at the top. He has such a magic feel that him holding a machine gun kind of looks silly. I think he'd look better without it. Yeah. Now, go cast some spells. Cast magic missile. Attack that darkness. Whoosh. This is the Omen. Thank you very much for watching Daddy's Toy Kingdom. This has been our Fortnite Battle Royale collection review. Take a look at all these awesome characters. There's the wild cards. There's Ace. Take a look at Valor. There's Wukong, Bandolier. Oh man, they're all super cool. You're gonna love collecting these. There's actually over a hundred to collect. This is only 19 of them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.